Does the Chicago Bulls benching Larry Markkinen signal the beginning of the end of his time as a Chicago Bull? Let's talk about it, starting now. Now, if you are new to the channel, please like the video. Please subscribe to the page because we do talk Chicago sports weekly. We don't want you to miss a thing, so make sure that you hit that bell. Going into the last game, the Bulls decided to put Thad Young back into the starting lineup and bench Lowry. Um, kind of vague on why they were benching him. Essentially, Billy was saying that, you know, he wanted to play with the lineups and kind of see what worked best with Vooch in there, just trying to get a feel for it. But I mean, honestly, let's be real. When we've seen uh, uh, Larry Markkinen in the lineup, he's been one of those pieces that the Chicago Bulls have looked at. And it's been very similar to a lot of the pieces that they moved out. Inconsistent, not able to uh, consistently uh, give you good production on the offense or defensive end not able to consistently be in their game in and game out and when you are in there are you being effective I'm playing you for 32 minutes are you doing a lot no Larry's into he's had games where he's done a lot but he's also had a lot more games where he's given you that eight to ten points I think the the straw that really breaks the camel's back for Billy is is the fact that you've got a seven footer out there and he's giving you three rebounds a game you know what I'm saying like like these moments coming especially more so in the second half of the season he really had a decent first half of the season I was having one of his best seasons uh, um, of his career um, but just wasn't able to stay healthy in this second half we really haven't seen him be able to get the ball uh, into the bucket consistently we haven't seen him shoot the ball well we haven't seen him rebound the ball well and so it's one of those things where I'm looking at it and I'm like, what do you do for me? What do you do for me? And we, we kind of watched that first game with Vooch and we saw that these two don't fit well together. This dynamic is not going to work. And so moving him to the bench to me wasn't a surprise. I think just even based off the fact of how the roster works with Sato and Thad, um, you kind of want those two on the floor together because they seem to have a connection that really does uh, keep the ball moving on the offensive end. And so I wasn't surprised to see Lowry be moved to the bench, but I'm going to be real with you. I think that this is the beginning of the end of Larry Mark and his time with the Bulls because we've heard that they've offered him an offer uh, on the table and that he's rejected it. And how much are you willing to pay for Larry Markkinen right now? I mean, honestly. Now, before I continue with the video, I want to know you guys' opinion. Does the benching of Lowry signal the end of his time as a Chicago Bull? I'll be down in the comments talking with you as well. How much are you willing to pay? For Lowry marketing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be honest with you. When I'm when I'm looking at the production that he's giving me, is Lowry a nice, like I've said, is Lowry a nice third or fourth piece on a team? Yeah. Kind of like what we saw with Andrew Wiggins um, a couple nights ago. Now, not to that degree because Andrew Wiggins having a great season. You know, he he's really shut me up about him um, because he's been a lot more consistent. He's, he's shooting the best percentages of his career, and so I, I can't I can't compare them as much anymore. But to me, Wiggins is still a third option on a team. He's not your number two. Not on a championship squad. Wiggins is the third option on a team. And so how dangerous are the Warriors going to be when you get uh, 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 Clay Thompson back into the mix and you have Andrew Wiggins? Now, that's a dangerous team. That's a team that, okay, now we got some trouble brewing over, over in the West Coast again with the Golden State Warriors. But to me, uh, when I look at this Bulls team, Larry Markin is not a number two. He's absolutely not a number one. To me, Lowry's a number three kind of player, a guy who you don't need to count on night in and night out, but it's good to have him out there because he can bring that production. But at the same time, you can be a number three coming off of the bench. And that's probably the role that he'll play for the rest of this season. But to me, I don't see the Bulls coming to an agreement here. I think he's kind of fallen out of favor with Billy Donovan as well um, because he's he's running these guys out there. He And listen, to me, for you to blame coaching or to blame anybody else but yourself at this point is is astronomical to me. Because when you look at the time he gave you, I think of even Kobe White when Kobe was in a starting position. He gave you a half a season to kind of, yeah, is it a new position? Yes, but okay. When I put you in positions to do the things that you do well, you're still not doing those. With Wendell, that's why Wendell's no longer here. With Lowry, when I'm putting you in position to do the things you do well, you're still not doing those. And would you hate to lose him and see him go be great somewhere else? Absolutely. You'd hate it. But, I mean, it's about fit. 
it's about fit can you make these guys fit with with within a scheme and and right now it seems like Lowry either just doesn't fit with what the Bulls are trying to do or he can't get it together himself I mean how many wide open shots have we seen Lowry I mean wide open like you have to do the things you do well well you have to do the things that you're marketed on well. And so I think that because he, he was missing those wide open shots, he wasn't able to uh, get those put back rebounds. He was, I mean, he wasn't even at times being aggressive on the other end of the floor. Um, I think that that's caused him to fall out of favor with Billy Donovan. And so, yeah, you're going to lose some time in that rotation because now we have pieces in place who are ready to hustle who are ready to make the move who are ready to play and we have young guys coming up who are trying to make a name for themselves in on this team i think if anything listen if you've got competitors on this team this is going to show it because troy brown jr he's going to compete to try and get himself uh, a lot more time in the lineup so denzel kobe those are guys that need to be worrying about their position you know aminu is going to compete to try and uh, put himself in a better position on this team that's where lowry comes in hey look you, you got to worry about your spot on the court now as far as how this season is going to end i think lowry will end up playing out the full season here there'll probably be some form of sign and trade at the end of the season pre- preferably for a point guard um maybe lonzo ball who knows or shoot maybe maybe you work something out with a, a, a lower money deal because i don't think there's going to be a ton of money out there for lowry and then uh you know you bring in uh, uh dennis schroeder and you still have him but To me, I think that this does signal the beginning of the end of Lowry's time with the Bulls. I think that both sides are just kind of unsettled and unhappy at this time. And so it'll be interesting to see kind of what happens uh, moving forward. And hopefully, you know, we can we can get a little bit of a run out of them, get 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 as much value as we can. And we can work out a little sign and trade. But as always, I want to know you guys opinion. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think the Chicago Bulls benching Lowry is the beginning of the end of his days in Chicago? be down there talking with you as well as always it is your boy pat the designer back at it again to continue watching our chicago bulls content click the links here or check the links in the description below y'all stay safe out there chicago peace